All right. Financial math classes. We have a quick lesson on homeowners insurance. Uh, just like uh, other large things you own, like cars, um, you want to have insurance for your home. Um, and your homeowner's insurance not only covers uh, damage to the property, to any structures, it also covers um, damage to personal property, such as computers, clothing, furniture, TVs, that sort of thing. Um, so when you're a homeowner, you will need to buy homeowner's insurance to provide financial protection against various losses. So the basic, there's a property damage coverage. So that covers damage to the property um, uh, in case of fire or any other natural disaster, that sort of thing, lightning, rain, um, the personal liability coverage, that covers you if someone is injured uh, on your property. So let's say your buddy's over and falls off the deck and breaks their leg. Uh, that will cover you from financial responsibility. It'll give you financial uh, protection um, for, for damage, uh, for, for hospital bills, that sort of thing. Um, that's the same sort of thing as medical coverage. Um, loss of use coverage pays for expenses for living away from the home while your damaged home is being repaired. So there's a fire in your house, um, burns down, you can't live in it while it's getting repaired. The loss of use coverage covers expenses um, like living in a hotel or renting an apartment or something while your home is being repaired. Um, to recover, uh, you, you need uh, at least 80% of its replacement value. So the replacement value is, is the amount required to reconstruct your home if it is destroyed. To calculate the minimum amount of coverage, use this formula. So the amount of coverage is just real simple replacement value um, times insured percent. Um, so uh, insurance companies use the amount of coverage on your home to calculate the amount of coverage you receive on a detached garage, purchase property, loss of use, that sort of thing. Um, let's look at an example here. So the Kimbrough's home has a replacement value of $82,700. They're insuring it for 80% of the replacement cost. So what is the amount of insurance? That's real simple. All you need to do is take the replacement value, the 82,700, multiply it by 80%. Don't forget to change the percent to a decimal. So 0 0.80. So let me get my calculator. 82,700 times 0.8 comes out to 66,160. So the amount of insurance is $66,160. Uh, what is the amount of coverage for personal property? So what you're going to do, the personal property, um, it's 50%. So if you notice these numbers, 50, 20, 80, they add up to, or 50, 20, 10, they add up to that 80%. So you're going to do the 50%. Um, part B, it's going to be the 82,700 times 0.5. 82,700 times 0. 0.5, 82,700 times 0. 0.5 comes out to 41 through 41,350. So 41,350. Uh, what is the amount of coverage for loss of use? So loss of use is 20%. So you're going to do the 82. 70 times 0.2, so 82,700 times 0.2, the 20%, that's 1640, or 16,540, so 16,540. And then was the amount of coverage for a, the garage or other structures, so that's 10%. So you have to do the 82,700. Uh, times 0 0.1, that comes out to 8,270. And there you go. Real simple, just calculate out the percents for the, the amount insured.